right, so I'm prepping the old gasket, which is still good. But what am I prepping? I'm in the area at the back of the where the head meets the um, aluminum cover, where you silicone it. I'm taking, being careful not to cut the the black gasket and cut some of that old silicone out of there. I'm not concerned with getting it all out. I just want to get a large, the larger pieces of it out of there that it might be flipping and flopping. cleaned up the trough and the back of the the back that has the silicone is right about here so what I'm going to do okay the valve cover the gasket goes like that I'm going to put this part in first press it in and ensure that there's no breaks in this piece here. This is your crankcase ventilation side. Your crankcase ventilation comes up through there, goes down through here, and then comes out right here into that tube that I went and picked up a new tube today. So. So now we're ready to, to install this, but first we're going to go up there and we're going to put the new silicone down onto the uh, two spots up on the engine. So we'll come back and get that. Okay. All right. So what we're doing now is I've got an International T442, which is an RTV silicone rubber. This is actually set so that uh, oil won't break it down. It's got uh, additives in there, some calcium, things like that. So this is what we're going to use back here on the back. And uh, we're going to go about an inch and a half or so from the inside of the lip. And we're just going to lay a bead down right in front of that lip. And then we'll go about an inch past, inch, inch and a half past. And we'll do that over on the other side. Same thing. back put some in that shelf on both sides right. so I'm gonna find a way to stop this up my cap broke I have to find a new cap okay so now I'm going to go get the valve cover, and then I will be right back. So, now I've got the valve cover, I've got it so that the gasket's not going to fall when I climb up there. But 
I'm going to go ahead and take my tools here out of the way so I don't knock them down. take the valve cover and make sure that it, my gasket's all in there all the way around. Now I'm just going to go ahead and flip it over and I'm going to run it on down. Okay, so now I'm going to run the, the bolts in here. And these stay on 